So welcome Calvin to the uh, lineup review and here we are looking at another ship. So Calvin 45, what is the name of this ship? This is the Nexus. The Nexus. Is a small class destroyer. Excellent. Uh, I shall be right back. I have chance to see it again. No problem. Let me open up the doors. Yeah, please do. It's a lovely ship. Lots of detail. Like the color choices. Green and yellow and black. Nice nose on it, so you're using offset symmetry. Uh, the hull choices you've gone with the wedge sloping forward or not, which is a nice rule. And then we've got the engines, and you've got a nice grill going inwards. Little fins, I guess, with little rockets. It's got a very arcade look when you build them on like that, it's wicked. A whole bunch of slew of turrets on top. I didn't expect to see. It's like a battleship up top with these all these turrets. A very sleek design. Uh, we've got two, three large turrets underneath. <clears throat> and then what have we got? Side mounted. We've got broadsides coming out the side there. And a massive hangar. Uh oh! Something happened. It didn't actually crash. It was just a slight lag spike. We were worried for a second there, but it's all good. So let's try and get back in there again. There we go. So now we're inside. No faith, huh? <laughs> we should know better by now. Right. So coming inside the hangar, it's a beautiful hangar. You can see there's AMCs running down each side. It looks like there's actually turret. No, they're enhancers for the turret underneath. I got it. So I'm going to come under here through the door. We've got a nice little storage area up the yellow ramp. Nice, that goes back to the core. Nice right? raised area, you know. This actually looks like uh, some kind of. I'm trying to put a finger on which sci fi show it was which had that kind of area. Or which? Um, just back here, I see the core room, but this room's outstanding. Just the way that it's coming up and then around and then up and around. Oh, okay, this. Yeah, the, the yellow one. and black. I don't know if it was like Stargate. Maybe. Mostly, it looks like a lot of bridges. Looks like a lot of space yeah. uh, enemies and such. Exactly. With the raised area for the captain, I think. Uh, you can actually go up the sides of the hangars and up the walkways, and there's living quarters above that. And the uh, little mini bridge. There we go. Found the, found the uh, front there. Oh god. Whoa. Whoa! What the? Whoa! I'm trying to balance it out. Huh? Looks like a turret came loose. No, I just got hit. I got hit by a pulsator. I just lost a turret. A oh. pulsator? Yeah, I'm completely dead. What? <laughs> Is someone trolling in a stealth ship with a pulsator? <laughs> someone trolling my run up? Um, what the? How many? How many? How many TARDISes did this guy bring? I don't know. I don't know. There was a wow. uh, running joke earlier about all the TARDISes. I'm still dead. You're still dead? Yeah, I lost all systems here. What? You, your ship is dead in the water? This is unprecedented. I've never heard of this happening before. Who did this? I'm not seeing anything around. Whoa, shots. Something's getting shot. Something's shooting. Uh, the TARDIS is on the uh, shot. Here, uh, let me try getting out of the core and see if I can. I think that I think that the trip is slowly eating them all one by one. Yeah. Oh. No, wow. I'm I'm deleting them. Oh right, I thought that the wow, the trip's super effective. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Well, I think we did manage to get to see the most of your ship. So. Yes. Um, we'll put this down to a strange bug. Because uh, I can't see anyone with a pulsator here, so we'll put it down to that and move on. So thank you, Kelvin45, and I'd hope that you bring this one in for proving grounds because it looks like it could be a little bit of an interesting one to watch. Sounds good. Yeah. So thanks again, and uh, yeah, we'll find that next person in the lineup now.